I smelt bacon. You did. What you doing? Feeding the 5,000? Best meal of the day, breakfast. So I've heard. Substantial breakfast gets you off to a good start. What was you up to? Feeding you all. Come on. Burning bacon at this time. Look, it's about time we started the day with a decent meal. And you, Princess, at your age, you need one. At my age, I need a morning in bed. It's a bit early for breakfast, isn't it? It's never too early for breakfast. Not like your dad to be up with the birdies, is it? If you pardon the fun. I couldn't sleep, that's all. So we've all got to get up. Yeah, one up, all up. Look, Princess, just sit down and eat, OK? What are you after? What I'm after is both of you to eat and tell me what a good boy I am. You've never cooked breakfast before in your life, not even if you were starving. But there's a first time for everything. There you go, I cooked breakfast once and nobody stops carping. I'm getting more suspicious by the minute. All right, I've got something to say. I've been thinking, us three, about our life here. I mean, it can't be fair on Sharon, can it, living amongst all this flake? Blimey, we're getting sensitive in our old age. Well, there must be more. Well, I've been thinking it's about time I did something about it. It's for the best. Well, come on, Dan, out with it. I think we need a little bit of elbow room. Breathing space, room to think. So I'm moving out. What do you mean, moving out? Away from here, into a room. Oh, look, I'm not leaving or anything like that. I haven't even found a room, I'm just looking. But when I do, I shall work in the pub during the day and sleep in the room at night. It'll soon be our wedding anniversary. You're going to live with her, aren't you? Who? You know. Well, are you? What? You're going to live with her. No. I don't believe you. Well, then why did you ask? Because you don't always tell the truth, Dad. Don't I? No. Well, are you telling the truth? Yes. Can I believe you? You can believe me. Well, can I tell Mum? Yes. I will.